In this design space lesson, we are going to be learning about the contour button and what it actually does. The contour button is located in the layers panel. So the layers panel is right over here and the contour button is at the very bottom at the far right. The contour button is used to remove any part of an image that you don't want to have in your final cut file. So it helps you edit your cut files. And I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. So before opening up the contour button box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my images are down at the bottom up the screen and you'll see why in just a second. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this coffee cup that has the little coffee bean on it. It's so cute. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the contour button and then we can just decrease the percentage here so that we can see the entire outline of our cut file in here. And let's say for this image we want to hide the coffee beans. What it's going to say is this is the hide contour box that was opened up when we clicked the contour button. It says on the image below select outline portions to turn the cut off and on. So what we can do is we can highlight over each of the little pieces of the cut file with our mouse and when we find something that we want to remove, we can click it. So for this example, we're going to remove the coffee bean. So that's one way you can do it. Again, you can turn on by clicking again. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those back on. Another way you can do it is you can go over here to all of the different cuts. It has outlines of all of the cuts and you can select the part that you want to remove. And so I just selected the outlines of the coffee bean. And then you can go ahead and exit out. So the reason why I like to have the little cut image down below is because you can actually see it working as you go. And we'll see that again in the second coffee cup. So say in this coffee cup, we want to edit it and remove the heart. Now I'm not sure why we'd want to do this because it's super cute, but let's say that we want to do it just for the sake of learning. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the layers panel and actually select the little coffee mug sleeve right here. That's the one that has the actual um, cut that we want to remove. And again, contouring is just removing any part of a cut file that we don't want to have. So we'll go down to contour. We can decrease it so we can see it and we can go and highlight over the heart and click it and then you'll see down here that it removes it. Another time you may want to use the contour button is when you are given a cut file that has a single color and you want to make it a cut file with multiple colors. So I'll show you exactly how we're going to do it with this cute little bee kind cut file. So let's say we want the bee to be a different color with the flowers, but we want to make the letters a separate color. What we can do is we can go over to duplicate and you're going to need two of the same um, files to make this happen. So we have it down um, at the bottom so that we can see what we're working with when we open up the contour box. And we'll go ahead and select the first one. And with the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the letters. So what we can do is we can go over to the contour button and open up the box. Then we can decrease. And then we can come up here and we can highlight and we can start removing the pieces that we don't want on this particular file and you'll see why in just a second but we're going to do it this way. So again hovering over and when you see the portion that you want to remove highlighted you can click on it. Okay just like this and you can see down here that it is removing the um, part of the image that we have hidden right here. So it's working. That's why I like to see it down here. So we can go ahead and click out of the contour box because we're done. Then we're going to click this one over here and we're going to do the exact opposite. We're actually going to remove the B and we're going to remove this little floral arrangement. So we can go ahead and click the contour button. Go ahead and reduce our size so we can see what we're working with. And then we're just going to start removing the pieces that we're um, not going to need. So this can take a little bit of time and that's just fine. Okay. So again, I'm just going to highlight over the areas that I don't want and I'm going to remove them. And you can go ahead and increase if you have a, just a tiny little piece, say like this one right here that you need to remove. Sometimes that's really helpful. So go ahead and use this little increase decrease button um, appropriately for the cut file that you are editing because sometimes it's really helpful to see them very up close. Some of the little cuts are super tiny because the Cricut can do such tiny cuts. So that can be helpful to just increase it and really see what you're working with. So you can see down in our actual canvas, you can watch and see how the cut file is being edited and you can see all those little pieces being removed.
Another way you could do this is you could hide all contours and you could click that button. It would hide everything and then you could add back the letters in. It might be a little bit quicker. But for the sake of practicing and teaching, I will just show you this way to do it. Okay, and I am just finishing up the last few little cuts by removing them and it's all done and you can see that down here. So now I can click exit and that's just that little X button in the top corner. And then I have two pieces of my cut file and I can bring them back together. So what I can do is I can just drag this over here. Now they're two separate layers. And then what I can do is I can come up here, I can make this green if I'd like, and then I can go and select the B with the little floral accent and I can make this pink if I'd like. So that is another time you may want to use the contour button when you're given a single colored file and you want to use multiple colors. For our last example, I'm going to show you a really quick way you can contour an image. So let's say we want to use this cut file of this cute little cracked egg that says freshly hatched. But let's say we just want to use the cracked egg, maybe we're working on something for Easter, but we don't necessarily want the letters. So what we can do is we can just bring it down so we can still see it when we open our contour button. We can go into contour and I'll show you a really quick way. So let's go ahead and reduce it. What you can do is you can click hide all contours instead of going through and clicking all of those letters and then you can just add in what you want to keep. So by going and clicking hide all contours, it removes everything really quickly and then you can just click on whatever part of the image you would like to keep and it just makes it a lot quicker. You could do the same thing for this image right here. Let's say you wanted to keep the word cute, but you wanted to remove as a button. Maybe you wanted to use this word cute in um, a different little design that you're working on, but you didn't want all of the text. You could go over to contour. You could say hide all contours, and then you could just add in and click on the part of the image that you want to keep. So that can just make it a lot quicker if you have a bigger file that, um, you quickly need to edit, but you don't want to go through and actually click all of the little pieces on and off. I hope this tutorial was helpful when learning about the contour button. And as a review, the contour button is simply a way to edit a cut file to remove any parts of the cut file that you do not wish to keep. You can use it when you want to make a single colored cut file, a multiple colored cut file, or if you want to just remove certain elements from a cut file that were there and that you just don't wish to have in your final project. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you all in the next video.